The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning to one and all, and welcome to Securite's very first webinar on ransomware in enterprise and corporate entities. Today's webinar would be presented by Mr. Mayank Dikshit. Mr. Mayank holds a Master's of Computer Management degree from Pune University. He has 14 plus years of experience in the field of information technology across development, technical support, and quality assurance. In his current and past experience, he has been extensively involved in various aspects of quality, performance, security, interoperability, usability of consumer security products across desktop and mobile platforms. At Quickheal, he leads the quality assurance teams for consumer desktop products, which is Windows, Macintosh, and Linux. Over the last couple of years, his focus has been building quality upstream, driving good engineering practices across development and quality assurance teams. Prior to Quickheal, Mayank was with McAfee for 10 and a half years and worked in the consumer space on various products like virus scan, parental control, anti-theft and has handled globally distributed quality assurance teams. He is also a certified scrum master. He is passionate about software security and has conducted numerous sessions on cyber security at various schools from standard 3 to standard 12 in the city of Bangalore. One important announcement, in case you have any questions about today's webinar presentation, please make a note of the slide number and your question and send it to us at corporate communications at quickheal.co.in. So without any further ado, I'm now handing over the mic to Mike to begin the session. A very good morning to all of you and welcome to the webinar. It would sound very cliched, but internet has dramatically changed our lives over the years. It can arguably be considered as the greatest invention of our lives, a truly global invention. Think about how it has brought connectivity, services, business, commerce, entertainment, right at our fingertips. With every year, our lives are getting more digitalized than ever before. The internet is a reflection of our real world. And how we have problems in real lives, internet also comes with its baggage of problems. Almost everything that can be done in real life can also be done on internet. Just like we have crimes in the real world, we have crimes on internet. Scams, fraudsters, cyber warfare, cyber terrorism, and these crimes are becoming more organized and well orchestrated. I'm sure a lot of you might have received the famous Nigerian scam emails asking to transfer money or share your bank account details so that the money could be transferred to you. Today, I will be sharing with you a crime that has been in existence for some time now. But of late, we are seeing a steady rise. There is a sudden spurt in such incidents and ransomware attacks have drawn attention and mention in prominent dailies, newspapers, and websites. And these are just not one or two isolated incidents, but impacting organizations. We have heard cases where the entire payroll data was encrypted, or take the example of a CA firm where all customers' financial data was held hostage. Then there are cases in US where the entire town's data was encrypted. Even the FBI hasn't been spared and ended up paying ransom. Cyber criminals have effectively cracked this business model and are generating a significant amount of money through this attack mechanism. What was once an attack technique that was aimed solely at susceptible individual users has now developed the ability to afflict advanced enterprise networks as well. Ransomware attacks are capable of causing significant system downtime and thereby impacting business. In today's session, we will talk about what is a ransomware, how it propagates and encrypts files, the infection vectors, and focus on the preventive steps that need to be taken to stay secure and protected.
What is a ransomware? Well, a ransomware is a type of malware that restricts access to your system for the purpose of extracting money. The restriction of access could manifest in different forms depending on the type of ransomware. Some ransomwares lock the system screen, while the majority of them encrypt the files. Then there are MBR, master boot record ransomwares, that infect the master boot record, preventing the operating system from loading itself. Based on analysis, this malware copies the original MBR and overwrites it with its own malicious code. Let's look at some of the types of ransomware. These are the popular ones and new variants are coming every now and then. Cryptobit, Cryptorbit, Aka Citroni, Aka CTP Locker. This is a very recent uh, 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 ransomware and it's also considered as one of the most technically advanced ransomware. Then we have Crypto Locker which was very uh, popular last year. It, it, it caused a lot of damage to businesses. And then we have Crypto Wall, Aka Kroti. And there are a few others. At the beginning of this year, uh, there was one which is called as Tesla Crypt, which targeted the gaming softwares. And it targeted some of the very popular gaming platforms like Steam as well. The ransomwares typically uh, encrypt the files using complex algorithms, right? Right from ranging from 1024 to 2048-bit encryption. And to decrypt the files, it is absolutely uh, beyond the ability of researchers and the cost itself would far outweigh the cost of ransom that is demanded. Once your system is infected with this ransomware, typically the user is shown a very user-friendly message which exactly lists down what steps need to be taken to get your data back. As you can see in this screen, on the left-hand side, uh, there is the time that is left to pay the ransom. Typically, a lot of these ransomwares uh, give 72 hours to 96 hours to pay up the ransom. And on the right hand side, as you can see, the mode of payment that is required. And it clearly lists, uh, it, it's pretty user friendly message with kind of details where I can purchase a money pack, how do I buy a money pack at the store and additional steps. This is a view of the screen uh, on a system that has been infected of CTP locker. It gives you the message that, okay, your personal files are encrypted. And then again, seems, uh, again, list down a very similar uh, warning or message that was that we had seen in the previous screen. This message is from CryptoLocker. It tells you that, okay, your files have been encrypted. And at the same time, tells you how you can pay the ransom. In this particular case, Bitcoin is the suggested platform. And this is very similar to the ones that we have already seen. Now, in majority of the cases, uh, if the user end up, ends up paying the ransom, then the files are indeed decrypted. Let us look at the numbers and what do they tell us. This is a real-time data uh, at Quick Heal. Uh, in the last several months, we have been able to successfully block close to 60,000 attacks per month, which is a very significant number. What was once a problem that manifested itself in the West and in Europe has now taken a global presence, right? These numbers are from India itself. Let us look at the infection vectors. Like most of the malwares, even the ransomwares use very similar techniques to get into the user system. One of the most popular ones is through emails. The whole payload 
comes through an email as an attachment and if, once the user clicks it or saves it to disk it extracts itself and then uh, is in motion and encrypts your files many times these ransomwares are distributed through another malware's payload in some cases they are also through an exploit kit and off late we also see phishing links being sent and once the user clicks on the phishing links the malware gets downloaded they typically exploit the common vulnerabilities that exist in applications or in the browsers what are the targeted files that th these ransomware attack they typically attack files which are important for end user in this case as we see office files are the most popular ones that are encrypted then we have pdf files of late we are also seeing a spur in database files getting ex encrypted in a network uh, or a enterprise environment or a corporate environment uh, most of the times the database files are very crucial so so a lot of ransomware are targeting these data files database files as well then we have images and drawings and as we saw in the case of tesla crypt ransomware games related files are also encrypted let us look at some of the payment mechanisms that are deployed by these ransomware sms or phone calls to premium rate numbers that is one of the ways that they typically uh, uh, use to get the ransom then we have the prepaid electronic cards which are pretty popular in the west cards like ucash money pack paypal my cash cards which are readily available at a lot of stores within the west and then something which has gained a lot of popularity of late is the bitcoin which is nothing but a virtual currency which makes it difficult uh, to trace the recipient of the money so definitely as we move forward these are, attacks are getting more and more complex and new ways of receiving the ransoms have been used what are we doing about it in order to block these ransomware attacks one of the ways uh, we are using is through the signatures right? then we have features within the product features like behavior detection system which monitors the activity of files on your system and based on certain patterns identifies and detects and then blocks the ransomware attacks at the same time we have been working on a new tool which helps uh, block these ransomware attacks the tool is very specifically targeted only for ransomware and in the due course of time this feature would be integrated into the product let us look at the preventive steps as we all know prevention is better than cure and the same applies here and it all boils down to very basic simple good security practices and policies to be used in case of avoiding ransomware attacks we need to ensure that the windows update is enabled to automatically download and apply the security updates so it is imperative that your system has the latest patches installed microsoft office java adobe web browsers these are some of the common applications that should always be kept up to date as we have seen earlier ransomware look for vulnerabilities in these applications through which they can get downloaded on your system backup so regular backup of your important data is one of the most important steps that are required for you to avoid ransomware attacks it is highly recommended that you periodically backup your important data using the right combination of online and offline backups in many cases 
if you are on a network and you have map drives drives connected then it is very likely that the ransomware would encrypt all the data on those map drives as well ransomware typically look for the drives that are connected so they iterate from a to z right and any drives that they find uh, they go ahead and encrypt the data on that so as a good practice it is not recommended that you keep the map drives always connected right at, at the same time you need to ensure that any drives or any external storage medium that you are using is not connected throughout if you are not accessing the files so keep in mind that not only offline but online data backup is equally important follow the best security practices do not open and execute attachments received from unknown senders cyber criminals use social engineering techniques to allure users to open attachments or to click on links containing malware this continues to be one of the most widely spread ways of receiving ransomware keep strong passwords for logging accounts and network shares avoid downloading software from untrusted p2p or torrent sites at times they are trojanized with malicious software do not download cracked software as they could propagate the added risk of opening a backdoor entry for malware into your system and last but not the least ensure your staff is well educated in good computing practices so with that we come to the end of this webinar thank you mayank for this uh, very informative and eye opener session on the uh, grave danger of ransomware which is affecting businesses all across the globe uh, we would now start with the q and a session if you have any questions please do type them in the chat window and we would be answering those questions in case we were not able to complete all the questions answering by today then please do not worry we have your contact details and uh, we will email you the answers to your questions individually thank you very much for joining us on today's webinar and i uh, hope you have a blessed day ahead